So we are at the Kyungwo Palace and I have my money ready and we're going to go buy some tickets and a digital guide and check it out. Let's go. Annyeong, can I have four tickets please? Thank you. Got our tickets and let's go. So we chose to get the digital guides and basically you get one of these fun little devices and it gives you all the information you need to know. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. And here you are. Thank you. It has a little map, it's like GPS. Uh -huh. um, when you, uh, let me go back out here. It picks up exactly where you're walking because it's like a freaking GPS. We are at the King Jung Jung Assembly Hall, which is basically the meeting center for the king and all of his ambassadors. So let's go take a look. So this is the throne over here, which is where the king would sit to look out onto all of his assemblymen and people. Good. at the party hall. So, <laughs> you can see we're having yeah. a party right now. And this is where the king and his ambassadors used to party back in the day. They would float a boat in the middle of this river and basically oh, have a river boat party. <laughs> so cool. So, has any of this one been like I'll you real quick. is absolutely gorgeous here. So, I think that most Western castles are made of stone and they're very gothic looking and they have those big old gargoyles. And here it's way more elegant, I think, because it's finer lines and just the structures are completely... Yeah, exactly. Like you can look and see like flowers on every single little piece of it where it would just be stone and maybe a German castle or a British castle. And it doesn't impart such feelings of uh, authoritarian dictatorship, even with just the silly faces on the statues. Um, and then just with the architecture and like Ray said, um, the attention to detail and everything is handcrafted on like in the West, which everything is kind of put together uh, as quickly as possible without so much attention to detail. Just the flowers painted on every piece of wood are pretty gorgeous. And the location itself where it's at, where it's built right through the mountains, um, to, to kind of use as a natural defense against any of the invaders coming in. It uh, serves a functional it, it, purpose. Yeah, it's a purpose. Yeah, yeah it, 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 it gives you kind of a, you know, it gives you that Korean, Korean feel where you're getting kind of a, a city feel on the inside, but then you can look out and you have all the scenery all around, no matter where you're standing at. Yeah. And a natural barrier. Yeah. And I like that it's broken up into several buildings instead of like the one big castle that's very European. The colors here are absolutely phenomenal. I never thought that palaces could be so gorgeous. I mean, they are meant for a king, but all the other palaces I've ever seen are very dry, like you were saying. And metallic. Great. Right. And this is a, a place of wonder. This is a place to enjoy um, these beautiful grounds. And you feel like royalty when you're here. It's just it's gorgeous. It doesn't impart the feelings of seclusion that a lot of Western uh, castles and palaces impart. I think this is, and this may go along with the Korean culture of being much more of a we as opposed to I, that you walk in here and you feel peace as opposed to somewhere that you don't belong. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. Yeah. Good. yeah.